Hello, my friends! We are back here at Annex Trine to check up on Vidofnir. Officially, in this capacity, anyway. And to see if, if she has any, any insight on how her daddy's feeling about all this. Does he know that she's been injured? Well, we came to check on you! We want to make sure you're okay! We're really sorry about that. Yeah, we're working on that ceramic. We can make it happen again. Well, we have to try. Oh man, 8 o'clock in the morning and the fire trucks are already blaring everywhere. There's not many people on the road, you don't need to honk the horn 50,000 times. I'm in the middle of trying to work here. Thank you. So what now? Well, obviously I know what now, but... Well, there was that one dragonling who, who wanted to know what her favorite food was. Maybe you can befriend him and, and tell him your favorite food too. Apparently he likes that. Yeah! We all know this is completely absurd, but we don't give a crap. Hooray for teleportation! I often do wonder how long it actually takes to climb up Somal. Seeing how the previous times we've been here with guests, well obviously they're not attuned to the Aetherite, so they get a walk. Yeah, I was too busy staring at this, uh, this, this ball of doom and gloom up here. When I first came here. No, 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 we don't get time for a right in the fields right now. It is! Hi! So, of course, this is an in joke about how nobody can tell the Moogles apart. And I will be honest with him. Because remember, after all we've been through? Well, who's the poor little Moogle who escorted us to Zenith in the first place? Yeah, even though you kind of fell asleep and you missed all the epiphanies that happened. Now, 
know, another thing that I, I never really thought about until just now is they use that horn to contact him. What are they doing now, now that we have the horn? Because remember, we never gave it back to him. We actually kept it and we, we summoned Hreiswagar again to return his eye and we still... Even if you had naturally assumed, okay, we're done with it, return the horn to them, you know, this dialogue would contradict that because... Yeah, he's like, yeah, I hope you still have the horn. You will, yes we do. Yes, indeed we do. I mean, I suppose they can fashion themselves another one. They, they, they did have to fix this one, after all, because Mogan sat on it and dented it. So, I'm just, we're just gonna pretend that they build themselves a new one. And I just get to keep the old crappy dented one that probably smells like Moogle farts. I don't know. Do Moogles even fart? I suppose so. Anyth I'm, I'm assuming anything with a butthole can fart. So, yeah, let's take a look at the scenery. At least one last time, because you never know, we might just all be fried to death rather shortly anyway and not live to enjoy it. So, shorty pants. No, you know what? You have nothing to say about this? I mean, this is only your second time here. Remember, you weren't here when we returned Race uh, Racefogar's eye to him. Did anyone ever tell you about that happening? I assume so, but... Now, considering he's still pretty good and pissed off at us, is he even going to answer? Oh, judging by that shadow, oh, I guess it would be a yeah! God, he's probably so annoyed with us right now. Well, you can just ignore us. Great race, Velga. Tis not lightly that we beg this audience. Pray hearken to our words, for they concern the future of man and dragon both. Yeah, by the way, your daughter just got stabbed. Greetings, race, Velga. I am Emmerich de Burel, acting ruler of the nation of Ishgard. I am come before you to parley on behalf of my people. He's certainly not dumb, guys. You foresaw mine intent. Well, you came. You're still having this conversation with us. Y you honestly could have roasted us. You honestly could fly away. Something tells me that maybe, just maybe, you're willing to listen, Harris Fagar. But, but we're trying to rebuild it. The cat's been out of the bag. Lis ech nitiek kasmon ikin in. Lis noan jas an es in. Salen mon an es. Ndai in. Stapol i an in nitiek. Shin es iso. Is 
Set Orsk, kom i mit eget kvinnan. Norsk dag kan hem. We understand that in your despair at man's betrayal, you seek only the refuge of solitude. But despite your protestations of spent faith, do you not still nurture the smallest flame of hope? Yeah, I'm with him. You came. You could have just been like, oh fuck, it's those idiot mortals again and just flown off. You have no obligation to stand here and talk to us. Yes. I do. If you claim I see falsely, then tell me. Why did you consent to bear Rizel upon your back? Oh, snap! He got you there, son! Is no... So you do distinguish between those who acknowledge and repent their sins and those who perpetuate them. Interesting. He's, he's got you there, Racefugger. He's onto your bullcrap. It seems to me that you have not, in fact, lost faith in mankind as a whole. Rather, you weigh our respective merits by how we allow the past to influence our future. <laughs> Um, um, he also threatened your kind as well, Racefugger. D did no one inform you of this? Daughter? Stabbed in the spine? Worried she was going to die? Should we suffer ties of blood to bind our hands, then? Nay, if the crime is one of unconscionable evil, we must needs condemn it, even should the transgressor be our closest kin. When my father corrupted himself and his followers with the power of a primal, I beseeched the warrior of light to slay him, an act alike to patricide. He was your father only via, you know, being an act of sperm donor and nothing else. That he did not die by my hand matters little. If anything, it heaps greater disgrace upon my name. But had my father not fallen, he would have drawn countless thousands into a holy war of hellish proportions, which I hold the greater crime. Thus did I order his execution, sparing the lives of my people and yours. Alas, your brother Worm now prepares to murder those whom I sought to spare. What is more, he has taken my comrade's body for his own. But if I must slay my dearest friend to defeat my direst foe, I will not flinch from my duty. Yeah, Elfino would like to have words with you right now about that. Not that I blame you for having that opinion. And no, you technically didn't order the execution of dear old dad. Technically, he kind of has a point there, but I didn't need his permission. To motherfucking kill Thornton. At all. At all. It's my job and my duty as the Warrior of Light. He became a primal. That's my job. I did not need Emmerich's permission. He does not need to shoulder any of the blame for this. I understand why the people do, but he should not be blaming himself. Sigmund in film. Sigmund is Ekmon. Kill our wood. What, what, itty bitty midi is actually gonna make an appearance here? Sloskna, Dyrkin Iles, Kolesna Inish, Traor In. 
Can I just say I absolutely love the look of pure what the fuckery on Emmerich's face right now? What is going on here? Also, kind of threatened all the dragon kind that do not directly follow him. You you might actually be on his list, Trace Fulgar. C can we take that into consideration, please? Would somebody actually mention this? It's kind of important. I was almost worried I'd have Hollywood heart attack there. Wow. Well, that's a mild shift in tone from you. It almost seems like you feel bad about doing that. Well, that wasn't a flat out no. Okay, it took a little convincing from Daddykins for you to actually move your butt about this. But I'll take it. I will totally take this. Doing if that isn't even mugging, I don't know. Well, that was certainly a well timed intervention by itty bitty midi. Not that I'm the least bit ungrateful for it, but that's actually the first time he's he's come out and actually spoken directly, so I think he's had enough of Nithog shit too. There's dragons around flying everywhere. I mean, I know that's that's more of a gameplay hint, but shh. Hello, Mr. and or Mrs. Well, Miss Wyvern, I guess. So we have our next dungeon open to us. Hooray, hooray, hooray. They have no, no dialogue here. Uh, do you. Oh, I'm ready. I am so ready. You know, a friend of mine, well, even though he only had one eye at the time, kind of mostly best a Nidhogg the first time. So, and it, at least he was trying to kill me. So, I think we can do this. I think we can do this, guys. I mean, Hrysla guys kind of got a point. If, if if I can't handle this child, well, it pretty much means we're all doing to fucking die at Nidhogg's hands. Claws. Whatever. So thank you for watching, friends. And we'll see how we, we weather this next storm and how our trial goes forward. Hopefully Hrysla guard doesn't just, like, you know, like, abandon us up there and be like, <laughs> you'll never pester me again. Although, that would be quite a bit hilarious, but I don't think the game would take that kind of comedic tone at, at, at this kind of dreary obviously climactic hour of the Dragon Song War! And I will shut the fuck up right now. Thank you for watching, friends. I will see you in the next part.